season two of nerd shit dungeons and dragons whore town oh. hey, that's wrong that's wrong probably not doing whore town yet what else do you guys want us well season two of nerd shit well, we're a I comedy have troupe on twitch what do you think that other stuff is <laughs> So this part could go in the YouTube right now, but then if I want to say some shit just for the Patreon people, it'll get cut out. Right. Yeah. So, All right. Say that shit. Say that shit right now. Okay, I'm gonna say something for YouTube people. All right. Yo, YouTube people. All right. Wait, wait, wait. We're we're back. Oh. Okay, we're back. Okay, oh. YouTube people. Uh, you know, there's some stuff that we shoot with these videos that's exclusive to Patreon. And when we were shooting that part, Trevor was talking shit. So you better subscribe to Patreon to find out. Dude, don't tell YouTube people what I'm saying on the Patreon shit. I told them to subscribe. Also, okay, hold on. This I got something oh, for yeah, the yeah, Patreon yeah, yeah. people. It was a, it was a pitch, you nuts. This is something. Right, yeah. Patreon. This is Patreon wait, wait, only. Wait, wait. Stop recording. Cut. Patreon okay. only. Here. It's not funny. But okay. You know. the end, oh. Yeah. All right, well, huh? it's I mean, right. joking. It's yeah, whatever. Um, uh, okay, so uh, Deadlands is the Dungeons and Dragons game that we're gonna try attempt to play. Uh, Timmy did send along some character stuff. I understood maybe a quarter of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I need to understand anything else, or we should just hop into it. Well, the way we did D and D is the same way, man. In fact, just because you played an RPG, you'll be less confused than everybody was. Great. When we started it the last time, you know. Okay. All right. Basically, the only thing that was probably confusing on there is there's words on there that mean the same thing as what was played D&D. They're just different words. Like for example, spells are called powers in this. You know, that kind of thing. So, do we have to go pick who we are now? I was kind of hoping you would already, because that's what we did when we started D&D. But no, yeah, you can pick who you are right now. I want to be. Got to name them and pick. You know, kind of. Make up something about him, you know? I want to be an Ewok. Um, uh, gambler. Was Wait, wait, wait. Question. Was there an Ewok on the sheet? Wait. No, of course not. Yeah. No, but didn't... But I thought we said that I could be an Ewok. Like, in any game. Ewok, no, that's another... That's the thing, a man. Star I, Wars Dungeons and Dragons. Well, no, we're not going to do all that. And this is, you know, this is a... What you call it is a role-playing game. You don't have to call it whatever Dungeons and Dragons, because we're not supposed to be saying Dungeons and Dragons anyways, right? And we call it like Buckerson and Myers Knights. Like yeah. this is like a sexy <laughs> spinoff. Yeah. Or like, you know, or one shots or whatever you want to call it. We can call it Knights. Wait, like, oh, are you talking about the, that was Baywatch, right? That's a Baywatch. Uh, yeah. 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 Baywatch oh, yeah, Knights, yeah, yeah. 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 And they, they were that. like investigators and then eventually they investigated aliens and stuff, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the other thing. So yes. The or, or we could call it 60 miles to whore town. Like it's yeah, like we're not there yet. It's the prequel. The ro well, you can call it the road to Hortown. The road to Hortown. So, uh, who's I'm got? Uh, so, no one. Sam, did you pick out a guy? I bet you did. Uh, I picked out an Ewok gambler. No, okay. That's not cool. Then we'll both be one. Why is that not cool? Yeah, well, well I guess that, if, if you're going to be an Ewok, then I'm going to be Harry Reid, the senator. That's, you know what? I can work with Harry Reid. My my Ewok's name was going to be Harry Reid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't going to go with your normal song, go Rary Heed? <laughs> this is uh, Rary Heed. And, and his Reid's his dick. That's Ewok for dick. Did you guys get that? Uh, Got it. So I'm, I'm, I'm an exclusive dick joke. I'm gonna be a, an Ewok. A, uh, I would also like to be a gambler Ewok. Okay. But then, oh, so Kit. But what stats does he have? Because that's not one of the characters. That's you what sent I'm along. saying is I would really like to do the more because we can figure. Here's the thing. So this game is built upon a system, and that system can be applied to all sorts of shit. So once we get the rules and stuff for that, we can literally have base bear gambler whatever. We're well, right okay. now. I think like because I I don't know. I don't I don't. I think we should do a one. I don't know. We don't have all the things we can have. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. We can just Here, say got... whatever we want and get the stats later too. But I yeah. mean, you know. I have a solution. 
just use the stats for the gambler guy. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be the gambler, but I, I, my physical appearance is, uh, is that of a little Ewok. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Yeah. No problem. It Let's might be more fun to, you know, take into consideration though, your height difference, you know, your language. Well, language we can do. Uh, you I, know, I, but- I can speak English. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. I mean, like, what if you were like the Ewok warrior or the Ewok uh, territorial ranger? Because like the warrior is like, you know, like if you look at his, his, uh, uh, what's this hind ranges. Yeah. It's old ways. Oath your honor and spirit and avoid uh, your, you honor the spirits and avoid uh, manufactured goods, especially those powered by or created oh. with. No, Ghost he wants Rock? to be a gambler. Sam, there's I no way. There's my no Ewok's way. an atheist. Trevor's going to be an Ewok. I under- I'm not going to I'm not going to feel like I'm in a western right now. Right. I'm an Ewok. Um gambler. You want to be the gambler guy? I'm a gambler Ewok with with a huge dick cuz I want to be the Boinga Ewok. No, I get know? it. But it we goes You didn't know that yet. It retracts into my stomach, but I can like it can come out and it's huge. And uh but I still look like a cowboy. Like I've got the hat and everything. And uh, my name is is Black and White Bart because my colors are black and white. You're a black and white Ewok? Okay. Like black. Uh, Ewok. No, no. Actually, my name's not Black and White Bart. Okay. It's, Shouldn't it's, it be like Ewok it, Bart since yeah. that's the most like prominent thing about you? <laughs> like that's like, like everyone's like, hey, let's give him a nickname based on the color of his hair. Like not the uh, fact that he's a fucking right, that's Ewok totally... and the only Ewok we know. That's how like cowboys I just want to remind everyone. That's how they do it. They name me after your like your most noticeable trait. Like there goes one eye, Larry, and Ewok Bart. <laughs> no, my name's my name's Tug Nug. Tug Nug. Because it's like an Ewok <laughs> name, and I make I make everybody call me the real name. Like I'm like you know like I because I command respect. I'm like no, my name's Tug Nug. And do you <laughs> okay? But you speak English. Yeah, a, a, a little. That's okay. my accent. I'm, uh, like my English accent. High five. Like a little Italian. Well, a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're an Ewok who sometimes talks like Borat, sometimes like Mario, but you only speak a little English. Yeah. I speak in the language a little. Tug Nug is gun gut backwards. <laughs> gun gut. <laughs> gun gut. I can't wait for it's an anagram for yeah. gun nut. Nug. All right. Uh, well, uh, Trevor, what gender are you? Uh, that's a personal question. Okay. Uh, Didn't he say he was like? He, he did, but that a, doesn't. A nat twenty. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm a huge dick, so I'm, I'm a guy. They them. But, you know what? But how does he identify? It. Yeah, it could be they them. It's uh. <laughs> what are Tug Dog's pronouns? There are no pronouns on the forest moon of Endor. Right. Everyone's just chill, like yeah. whatever. Okay, that's cool. But it's like this once you Earth, reach the right? age of nine, you like turn into a female. Like you're a male, and then once you hit a certain age, then you turn female. But most of them just commit suicide the day before their birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They go out, they wait for an ATST to step on them. <laughs> well, I've I become a girl you watch at midnight. <laughs> and they just our- slingshot themselves in the face. <laughs> They have their body put up two log traps with ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our Western role playing game. Uh, yeah. Okay, so who else is ready? Darren, I think we got Trevor kind of figured out. Uh, Trevor, uh, Darren, Sam, one of you guys, what do you want to be? Um, Sam, I know, is waiting to pick who he wants to be, uh, but he's got an idea. Oh, Sam, you can go first then. I No, no, no. I think oh, he's he, waiting he, to see what I, I pick. Oh, okay. Um, I can't help myself, but I think I will go with the, the gunslinger okay. uh, chick. You want to be cool. the sexy lady like in the picture? Because you don't have to be like the picture at all. But... Ooh, it's... Uh, oh, I kind of want to be uh, exactly like Sharon, her. Sh- Sharon Stone. Be, she's like a hot redhead, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Darren. Is under boob still canon? Well, that's not up to us. That's up to the fan art fans. Mm. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> what's it, what's her name, Darren? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Wilfie Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everything. Yeah. So every character is somehow going to be related to the Ewoks TV movies. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Sam, you gotta make the connection. Hey, t- uh, Darren, you know what her name should be? It should be Milford Brimley. <laughs> no. Darren, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. But, well, I was gonna say Wilford Brimley, but then that's I wanted funny. to make it, uh, you know, feminine. Yeah. Well, way, nothing's more I, mil- mil- nothing's Milford's. more feminine than Milford. Yeah. <laughs> if you're okay with it, man, because I, I, cause I want, like, you know, because last time you didn't get to choose anything, so you're okay with that, man? <laughs> Milford Brimley over Wilfie Brimley? Yeah. yeah Mil- Milford has Milford. Milford. Yeah, I know, but Wilf, it's got that w. people can get. Yeah. Big choice. I'll go, I'll, I don't know. Okay. Go just go to Sam. I'll I'll come back. I'm gonna be the territorial ranger. Uh, I'm played by uh, John Goodman. (laughs) I like raising Arizona era John Goodman. Oh, beautiful! Nice. I'll try and find you a William Forsyth guy to interact with. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I got really big fists. All right. Trevor can say the size of his dick. I can say the size of my fists. Hey, you and you and me are a match made in heaven. Are you a dude or a are, <laughs> Sam? Are you a man or a woman? I'm a man, and my name is uh, Star Cruiser Creesh. Ooh, that's a good Star name. Cruiser Creesh. Star Cruiser Creesh. Yeah, Creech. yeah, I like that. Uh, the in the Ewoks movie, they the Ewoks say Star Cruiser Creesh. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if we ever do a space RPG, we have to pick cowboy names. Like, this is that. Oh, yeah. I'm the captain of the Galactic Empire. My name is Six Shooter McWhiskey. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, and now uh, one last uh, point of business before we just kind of start telling the story. So, we're not in Hort, like, we don't want to be in Hortown yet, though. We'll call this like, no. the, you guys want to call it the road to Hortown? <laughs> kind of yeah, we're, we're, yeah. At, we're, at, we're at a place called Skank Gulch. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. And it's awful. <laughs> just awful. It, it's it awful. It fucking smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, all right, we now open. This is uh, we're now entering the world of the Deadlands. This is basically, if you guys don't know, it's like the old west, but at some point, uh, mining companies were that were mining for gold found something called Moon Rock, which has like magical properties. So that's why it's kind of a little different from our old west. There's also you know, mm-hmm. monsters and stuff, and weird shit comes out of the ground out there. So, hmm. um, you know, zombies, monsters, things like that. So, uh you know, I'm going to do this adventure, but I'll change the t- name of the town and other names where we need to go. So, uh, all right. So, uh, the three of you are just sitting, well, we can do this. Cause we picked this out last time. Are you guys friends? Do any of you want to know each other? Or you want to all be separate. Maybe we don't know each other yet. Okay. Cause we're going to start. Yeah. Other. We're starting. Yeah. At a bar. yeah. We're starting at a bar. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like, yeah. well, there's three it's short good. adventures and we'll maybe get into one or two of them tonight, but you know, this one starts in a bar, so I feel like it's the best way to get everybody together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm playing probably the all piano met drinking, in the bar. You know? Huh? I'm playing the piano in the bar. I like that. I like that. Trevor, I'm asking the bar- bartender for a daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Daiquiri. <laughs> Trevor, are you there? Are you I'm in the bar? A, I'm flipping a coin all right. uh, at, at, the, at the bar. Like all right. A, an Ewok coin. And... Uh, and I'm and I'm sizing up people that I might eat. Sweet. Well, let me do some yeah. narration to get us into what's going on, going to happen. So, Wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Ewoks I, eat I, people? I, yes, they do. Yes, I'm, totally. Oh, it's so obvious. Um, oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's we totally uh, eat that. I forgot. I and forgot. I'm playing. I'm playing on the piano the most sizely cantina song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. Here's some narration. All right. Uh, you're in the gold mining town of Skank, oh, Skank Gulch, right? Skank, Skank Gulch. Gulch. Right, you're in the gold mining town of Skank Gulch, and it came into, this is a town that basically popped up overnight when people started finding gold, and now that some people have- When they of, found all these skanks here. Yeah, so <laughs> but that's really what happened too, is like, you know, people go find gold, they're lonely, they're like, well, bring in the whores and booze, that's always how it works. Anyways, but so it's a gold town, but then some people stumbled upon Ghost Rock there, which is even more 
valuable than gold. So now it's kind of a boom town. And in all the commotion, it almost went unnoticed that more and more silver and gold trinkets have begun to disappear. Mm. All right. And so uh, as we uh, kind of start, the, the, the night has just begun at the local bar, which is called the Rusty Lantern. And uh, so as we enter the scene, uh, Darren's character, Milford Brimley, is playing piano. Well, is that his name? Did we decide? Is yeah, that yeah, or Milf- you Wilfie? I'm good her with name. that. Her name, her, her Wilfie. Name. Wilfie and the Brimley, you know, the two E's. Let's, yeah, mm. I like the Milford Brimley. That's good. Okay. So Milford Brimley is playing piano and as a, 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 a small bared fellow in a hat walks into the bar to the music. That's a great ragtimey bar yeah. song for piano, you know? Yeah. Like flipping a coin. And... Uh, do, do I say something? Yeah, you guys can talk. I'll just get to get into what we need to notice next. Uh, you know, my name is Barkeep. Tom. It's like <laughs> Barkeep. It's like frozen strawberries with like booze in it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, the dice. you got a sixteen. So the bar keeps like, all right, I think I can figure that out. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Make uh, sure you put an umbrella in there. Let me let me I, check to see if we got any umbrellas. Mm. No, I only got nine, man. Sorry. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. I stopped playing the piano and I'm like, oh fuck it smells here. <laughs> <laughs> I An go. old man oh, go ahead, Tugno. I go. Uh Mamma Mia, my name is uh Toggy Nug. Like <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I come to this town to to uh, sleep with skanks and eat people. Tugnug, <laughs> where are you from? But I'm not going to do Italian the whole time. Um, <laughs> You're going to get so tired. I know. I hate it already. Uh, like I'm from I'm from the like, forest moon of Endor, and if, and and many moons ago, uh, a man named Wilford Brimley crashed on my planet. And then took me with him to Earth. And you know how in Star Wars it says it was a long time ago in a galaxy far away? Turns out the long time ago equals rough in the 1800s for us. I have no uh, idea uh, what you're talking about. I say, what the fuck are you what talking the about? Fuck is a Star War. <laughs> you I, might I have a war you is might have star is, but you might sure. as well have walked into this bar. You're like a big zucchini character that's talking and blah 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 blah. I don't understand who you are. What do you want? I, I, I pull out my two six pistols. Oh no. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I punched I punched I punched the biggest guy in the bar. All right, here we go. So I, play, uh, I punched the biggest Native American at the bar. And that catches my attention. <laughs> Trevor, no, Trevor. Is that is that, is that just for no, the not Patreon? Him. Not him. Not him. You no, I punch the biggest white man at the bar. I punch him <laughs> s- square in the jaw. All right. So, so uh Wait, and this right. catches my like, attention. I go. You're like three feet tall. Are you jumping up on a table or something? I get up on a stool. All right. Well, <laughs> no. Wait, we're gonna. We can get into a bar fight. You know, we can start a bar fight. Um. So yeah. All right. So uh, Tugnug's gonna. Tugnug? Right. Yeah. Tugnug's gonna start a fight here. Um. So, one cool thing about this game is uh, when you're trying to figure out whose turns in a battle, you draw cards. Hmm. Ooh. So no more rolling. Well, this guy, I just rolled. You still roll too, but uh, for this you do you do that. So uh, we'll go Trevor. You got an eight. The highest oh, yeah. one is ace, and then it goes you know uh, down all the way to two. So you're kind of right in the middle. And if you get a joker, you're uh, um, you can go where whatever you want. Darren, you got a two, which means you'll be at the end unless you know. I don't know. I don't think anyone else will get worse unless someone chooses to. Sam, you got a queen, so you'll be first. The dude Trevor punched, I will set up as a, yeah, I'll do one of those. Okay. White guy. Um, huh? White guy. Yeah, yeah, it's a white guy that Trevor punched. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll figure that really out. Really helping us out, Trevor. You Thanks. got a six. I am. <laughs> then the How other that one involves also going to be. An I'll eight. punch a white guy. 
I'm making it. I'm making a problematic <laughs> game not problematic. I, you know what that I, is? Yeah. I don't know. Holy shit, man. All right. Uh, I don't know how you're going to edit this. <laughs> you don't. That's the beauty of what I'm doing. Nah, you don't have nah. to edit it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now now comes the rolling though. So matter of fact, we should just make it in case a bar fight breaks out. We should say it's all white. This is a only white people bar. <laughs> That's like, better. It's, o- it's only white people in this bar, so it's like. In fact, the bar has a rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we can punch they've anyone. Got to we- sign up. They've got to sign. <laughs> That's so this is not enforced. This is not problematic at all anymore. This is a whites only bar. We can punch anyone we want. <laughs> oh my god! Oh dear. Okay, so uh, you get a D four for fighting. You know, uh, gamblers—they're not really. You know, they're about using their wits, not punching. But this is similar to the wizard immediately stabbing people. So this is good. So. Okay, well, you only got a one there. Do you get to add anything? I don't think you get to add anything. So, oh, that's not good. Huh? He's the huckster, uh, huckster gambler. Yeah. He's a magic. Huck, yeah, the gambler He's... character you're talking about. They call these hucksters. They're the guys. They also know some spells too. So I swing and I miss him. Can I play it off like just kidding? Yeah, you can try that. I mean, because you I know. It's like... So anyway, I it's swing fun. and I say just kidding, and then I kind of do like an adorable bear face at him, like I look. <laughs> I try to look as cute as possible. All right, so that's would that fall under spe- spirit or smarts? Probably smarts. Oh no, wait, you got persuasion. Persuasion. All right, there we go. Okay, so you got a five on that. What, what's this guy? So yeah, you got it. So okay. he's like, oh, okay. The guy turns around and he's got a. Actually, I was gonna wear this earlier and pretend I thought it was a cowboy hat, but the guy has a hat on like this. He's got a high collar on. Well, Timmy, you look like the Undertaker. <laughs> that's crazy because yeah. i normally look like paul bear <laughs> so, not both of them so, the, so yeah, this the, guy's got a mom's beach hat on the guy has a mom's beach hat. <laughs> yeah all right and he's, he's got a high black and white collar and a long tight black coat and a drink of whiskey in his hand like that's all right little fella god be with you and i go Wub wub, and I go over to the bar. <laughs> and then I say, the- I s- "Oh, sorry, go guys. No, go ahead." Oh, I was gonna say, um, that guy owed me money. How did you know I didn't like that piece of shit? To me? Yeah. And I'll just, and I, I'm just like, you want to kill him? I do, but I'm gonna oh. need some help. I'm, I'm your Ewok. By the way, I'm an Ewok. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We're like bears. But I like we... your style. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're like and then we, I... yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, then I look over at... Um... Star Cruiser Creech? Star Cruiser Creech. And I say, the fuck are you looking at? Ooh. Wow. I'm waiting for my fucking drink. This one it's tasty. taking forever. And I'm waiting. And then you hear someone down at the end of the bar say, and I'm waiting to find out who stole my watch. And uh, this old what? guy kind of wakes up out of a drunk, a drunk <laughs> stupor. No one was talking to you, old man. <laughs> yeah. This is the bar. People can wake up and shout yeah. out in time. You fucking crank. And what kind of, what do you, what are you waiting on? One of those frozen slush drinks? He has to go out back for those. Bartender, can we do something about this? Is this guy white? Yes. <laughs> I put a knife in his hand. Hold on. Can I say one thing quickly? Okay. All right. So as he's saying that, another guy, another kind of uh, old man in a, in, a, in a hat. That, well, there's a lot of old men with hats in him. But another old white dude with a beard at the end of the bar kind of uh, slides his hand back into his pocket and he starts to get up to leave. As the other old drunk guy starts shouting about stuff. That guy probably took his watch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You can roll like a check to see if you can like, you know. No, I know it. Okay, great. But let's what roll is a check? You know. What it, what, what is we it? Know a check. Like check like fear check, check or... But it, 
Yeah, I, check uh, like uh, you do all the time in D and D, where you check to see if you're, you know, perception like, tr- check. Yeah, yeah, perception check. This but would like, be a notice. They actually have one just called notice. So. If this old dude is like somebody took my watch and we see a guy get up with like, ooh, well, putting exactly. his hand yeah, behind well, his back. I'm I know just trying to put... get the. I'm just trying to get the story going a little bit, you know. But right. uh, a lot of times I have to. I don't want to say I dumb it down for you guys, but a lot of times I got to make the story more broad so that we can kind of get it going amidst all the craziness. Yeah. There's some good right. thinking. That's like what I always try and do. Anyway, so. uh <laughs> But anyway, so Trevor, I just rolled a new so guy. Wait. Good notice because he's a gambler, right? He's good at mm-hmm. spot stuff. So you do see that dude kind of slide and start kind of just kind of finishing his drink and trying to kind of make his way out of the bar. Can I move? Can I do a thing? Can can yeah, I, I, mean, I? I want to talk to them for a sec. Yeah, well, yeah. why don't you guys hey, talk? Because we kind of started combat hey guys. and turned into combat. So we're not really in combat right now. Go ahead. Hey, guys, I'm a ranger. Hmm. And I see all this stuff going on. Wouldn't it be crazy if we just fucking killed that old man who got his watch stolen? It's funny. And I say, I say yes, and then I I pull out my guns and I shoot the bartender in the face. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) my drink! I I take a bow and arrow and I shoot the guy with the that with the the watch. I shoot him right in the back of the head. Don't have a bow and arrow. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the gear you have at least for right now. You do have a. All Ewoks have bow and arrows. Hold on. But you're a gambler too, okay? Ewoks, I, I mean, look. I'm so he has a deck of cards? I'm letting you be an Ewok, but none of these guys are Ewoks. So we're going to go for the gambler hold since that was here. You know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> I, I, I pull a rope and then a bunch of logs come down and wobble the guy's legs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Power tarnation! You set up one of those Ewok log traps. In well, here. what do I have? Do I have a gun? Do I just have cards? Yeah, it's all written down there on the thing. About you have a derringer. You got a oh, derringer, nice. which is a little forty-one technical. things of ammo. No, it's a forty-one deck. caliber ammo. Oh, 41 <laughs> caliber. Oh, you have fifty. Fifty of forty-one caliber ammo. Okay. You got a deck oh, yeah. of cards. Deck of cards. Extra cards stashed in wrist holders oh. because he's like a cheating, no good gambler wizard. Yeah. Does Hoyles, the dungeon master uh, and you have like Hoyle's track book of, of how games. much ammo we have left? Yeah, I can keep track of it. And Hoyle's book of games in this universe is like a magic book, basically. It's like a book. Oh, of okay. Stuff. I and pull my gun out. Sixteen dollars. Yep. I pull my derringer out and I shoot him fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who no. are you shooting? The guy who's leaving with the watch. So you're shooting at the guy who's leaving. Darren's about to try yeah. and shoot the bartender. Okay. But I empty uh, all my bullets into him. Yeah, I already shot the bartender. So you'll have no more bullets? You already shot the but You can't see. You guys, do you remember? You can't, like, the difference between this and us just all saying that we do stuff is that it is a game, so we have to, like, you can't just say, I did it, and then it's done. We have to, like, you know, do the battle. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay, but it's like, because then you just say, well, I just, I win. And then we right. just sit here and talk about the weather, you know? So, uh, all right, so uh, I'm gonna do another round of com. I'm gonna do this again so that we can act- so we can figure it out, and we'll we'll get going. We'll we'll start. Uh, I mean, Darren really had the first action here, so we'll go to him. Yeah. But now, you know, you know what you want to do next, Trevor's at school. So, Darren, you got a five. Trevor's a ten, so he's probably gonna go first. Sam's a five as well, and they break it down by suits. So, uh, a tiebreaker goes hearts, diamonds, and clubs. So you actually go before Darren, so it's got a five of clubs. All right, so then we also have to get the bartender. Uh, no, actually, the bartender will be the next turn. But then the, the, the dude who's trying to sneak away, he's a three. Okay. All right, Trevor, so you're going to shoot at him? Yeah, now Sam said I had 50 bullets. Yeah, Does that... so you have 50 bullets. Can but I shoot you don't mul- get to shoot all 50. And I mean, this is also turns. You can't just say I shoot 50 bullets out of a, you know. it's a, Right, because it's it only shoots six at a time. It but like at a time, no, a a at a derringer time. Is, is a tiny gun yeah oh, shit that's it's right so, it's so it's a it's you're a gambler magic. dude you probably have it hidden in your you know yeah. it's a ladies watch, gun no you offense. know at, before the next one you should watch the gambler <laughs> movie right you get a you know kenny rogers uh, all right taxi driver i shoot him in, I, sh- I shoot him in the back like a fucking coward there you go yeah everybody called him the coward of the county okay <laughs> that's a kenny rogers oh, tos right. tos yeah oh shit can, We're get can sued, patreon right? get it though no kenny rogers has like so many lawyers looking at <laughs> twitch he's dead. He's he's dead. Dead. very active he's on twitch yeah, yeah. 
his estate is very active on yeah. Twitch. His, his estate is very active. His on sons Twitch. and grandsons. Okay, yeah. so Twitch. you you've got your Derringer. So uh, the shooting skill. All right, what do you what's your shooting skill? Oh, your shooting skill is not fantastic, but we'll see how it goes. Where do, and you're shooting him. I mean, you're you're at basically like short range here. Point blank. You didn't beat it. There, there's one what? other thing, and you know we'll get used to a lot of this stuff. There's one. There's some weird shit you can do in this, like uh, to inf influence uh, kind of your own luck. Like everybody has what they call three bennies, which are basically tokens, uh, right. like benzo. But you can use one to kind of like redo a roll or do this or that. Well, let me do that because I, if I try to shoot this guy in the back at point blank, I don't see how I miss. Let me let well, me use. It's not just a uh, you know. <laughs> Let me do a. Uh, I'm gonna use a Benny. Right yeah, just I'll hold do hold my on. Benzo. Yeah, just hold on. <laughs> I like. I, I, there's stuff happening. The guys. The guys. It, just because you're aiming at someone from behind, maybe they hear you and they jump well, away. Wait till we figure out damage for this. It's a lot different than damage in D and D, and it's actually a lot more interesting. So. Yeah, um, he might have like power ninety. You know, when we're gonna find out, this is the, the final boss. This like piece right of now. shit. This just watch on, stealing piece of shit. You think he's got a power 90? Timmy could pull to some shit like that on us. He would. <laughs> I'll just make him what I'll make him Santa Claus again, who's like invincible with fire swords. <laughs> yeah. I was I wanted to fight Santa Claus to the end. No, well, he would have absolutely murdered you, but uh anyways, uh wild cards, and you guys are technically called wild cards. Roll an extra d6 kilobyte if the result was okay. All right, cool. So so basically what you do, because like main characters, you guys, and then some of the other characters you meet are going to be called wild cards, which means they get, uh, they're a little more badass than everybody else. For example, you get to roll whatever your dice is. Trevor only gets a D4 for his guns, for example, right now. But you also get to roll this, you know, an extra one called a wild die. And if this one gets a higher number than this, which is likely you get to use this. So Hell yeah. And I just dropped it on the floor, so I don't know. Anyway, so there's your D4. Uh, you got a two for that. You what the fuck? Yeah. You got a two for that one too. So I don't want to use the castle anymore. Can you just roll mine on the actual uh, table? All right, you still got a two for your regular <laughs> oh, dice. Shit. And you got a three for your other one, which still Hell doesn't yeah. quite cut it. You need a four or more to, to get it. So God, uh, I'm a shitty fucking character. You can try. You, you just, can. But... <laughs> you just used a Benny. He didn't yet. I kind of just started, uh, but uh, uh, okay. if you would like to, because I, I would need to be rolling both these dice for everybody. So Trevor, if you'd like to use a Benny now to re-roll, you can. Yeah, I'll throw my Benny down. <laughs> okay. You got to not use the fucking power. All right. God, dude, you still got a two and a three. Well, I'm sorry, you missed him. All right. All right. We just got to say that you missed him. I'm working yeah. on him, man. We'll, we'll get to combat. Sometimes stuff down. doesn't go your way. Yeah, yeah we'll level yeah. up. Don't worry. No, we could. Do, we'll, we'll just ask the Reddit guy who can control that gunshot to just redo it because of trolls, <laughs> <laughs> or no, uh, uh, bots. Oh, oh, I'm just kidding, Trevor. I, I believed you on that. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. So, oh, I didn't write down whose turn is. Oh, it's Sam next. Okay. And then the sneaky guy. The guy's trying to sneak out. The Trevor just shot at him. Missed. So. I take out my shotgun and I shoot that old man who had his watch stolen. That's good. Hell All yeah. right. So you're the uh the guy who like just started yapping his fucking mouth. Yeah, off the guy just started right running. out of a nap. Yeah. Yeah. And I say Who 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 do you think you're yelling at now, Buster? Is that cool? Or you go like <laughs> Hey, since you don't have a watch, I'll tell you what time it is. Time to get your oh, face blown man. off. <laughs> That's pretty good. There, there's one stat I gotta look up quick. I like who do you th who do you think you are now, Buster? <laughs> you can go with that. What is? It? There's one uh, number here for the items. I don't know what it means. R O F one. Maybe I don't need to worry about it right now. I probably don't need to worry about it right now. Okay, so there's your gun. Okay, so your shooting is you get a D eight. <laughs> so that's a. And Sam, are you okay if I use the dice tower? <laughs> yes, I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, you got an eight, uh, which so that's similar. When you get uh, over four, what you need a four to hit him, right? Um, yeah. 
And I might not be doing that right. Hold on. Super. I'm going to go pee real fast. Yeah, go ahead. I'm man. still listening, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Darren. Yo. Are you mic'd through your headphones? Yeah. Leave it, leave so it on for the Patreons. People have told me they want to see it, you know? I don't yeah. Know. You know, did he cool. kill him figure out. i'm still figured out there's like i think a, so there's a cool thing that you know he definitely hurt him a lot um hell yeah yeah he did get his face blowed off probably i, yeah. I just gotta figure out what, what he like, gets for it's, talking it's, back to me it's basically like the 20 uh it's it's kind of like the d20 would this be simpler if we just used regular dice what do you mean no <laughs> No, it wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know why we do this. <laughs> Seems to me like would, a lot of the time it's like, what dice do I use? No, no, no. Trevor's no, like, not, no, I'm not. A, would no, this it, be simpler if we were playing Monopoly? Right. <laughs> Trevor could make an alliance with someone. You had that deck of cards. Just uh, pull a deck, a card up. He's You're fine, right. You should fine. DM, Darren. You control. I'll be your girl. Let's go. Well, how he's could fine. You, he's could you not up. play? Could you not play this with a magic eight ball though? That if you were just like, do you hit him? And you just shook it, and you looked, and it was like maybe, like, and then you got to shake again, and then it was like yes, you know. No, because there's well, like no. levels of how much damage is done, like uh, what, and then yeah, the, and the dungeon master creates like how. how someday I'm gonna come up with a good metaphor yeah. for how crazy it is that you still don't understand how this is work for me but that's okay believe it or not trevor this. believe it or not here's a huge surprise there's some people who have thought more about this game than you have <laughs> i just want to there's this one thing that's like really cool that sam just did that i want to figure out how it affects the uh what happens you know but it's like i'm not finding it so i'll just read it later we'll just have to basically what we'll do is yeah obviously you hit the uh you hit the old man so timmy it's fine i'll just use my token <laughs> no no you're good you're good <laughs> no i'll just use it i'm gonna use it no you don't have to use it i'm gonna use two of them <laughs> two. so you get uh so your damage is 3d6 and uh so basically what you do is you combine all your damage and we compare it to this guy's toughness and then you see how wounded he gets and if he gets wounded enough he's dead so you so got a six shit you got a four and you got a five. Uh, so that's 15. That's pretty fucking good. So in his toughness, I was just using uh, for the bartender. I was just going to use this gun. So the toughness is five. So you're way over. So you're 10 over his toughness. So uh, every four full points over the target's toughness, so just two, means he's wounded. So he's he's been wounded twice. So he's pretty fucked up. He's uh, He's not dead yet. But uh, <laughs> that's so he, awesome. he's like, just, he's no, laying he's, in a it pool any of roll blood. He takes is now minus six because every time you're wounded, okay, so when you're damaging somebody, you compare all your damage, hitting them is just getting better than four, right? Once you hit them, you do the gun's damage to them, and then you compare all the damage you get to the, how tough they are. And if you're enough over the tough, they get wounded and more wounded and more wounded than they could die. So it's 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 kind of more fun than just the uh. Oh, I hit you for 10. Oh, but you have 90. Oh shit. You know, so because it's like you can kill anybody easily with the right gun and the right, you know, lucky enough roll. Yeah, so um, anyway, so uh he's he's like so that totally so just up. to recap, yes. This guy started this this guy stood up in the bar, was like, Someone stole my watch. And I was like, calm down. And then this other guy was sneaking out, and the Ewok tried to shoot him, missed. Did a lot of bullshit. And then I just took out my shotgun and shot that guy who told to, who was right. talking back to me. And he's now like and just bleeding. Blasted him. He's bleeding out of his shoulder and his side because he hit him with a shotgun. So he's got you know pepper. Yeah, spray I fucking and just, blasted him. Bleeding. He's like leaning his shotgun. Hey, oh, don't got me. I got me good, buddy. Uh, now uh, uh, Darren, I've got it's gonna take me. Oh, Doug. are we Milford? 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 It's your Milford. turn. Milford. Milford. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Milford? Uh, no, Milford. 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 Yeah, Milford. Yeah. Okay. Milford. Well, I shot the bartender first. So well, I guess that's my you turn. You decide to take action, but I mean, you still have to, like, that kind of starts combat, but we still have to find out who gets what, you know? So you're this one. No, that, 
this one this one i'm so, after you. that's why it's your turn so that's what we're doing now is you're, what are you shooting them with both of your guns uh no just one just one you right. could yeah. you could shoot starkush for stealing your kill <laughs> no 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 the bartender no, you, you, she was shooting at the bartender uh, all right yeah and Darren, are you at okay the guy who's you, yelling are you okay with the dice tower darren can i use for the sure. dice tower for you for sure Oh, you got an eight as well. Jeez. All right. So uh, I'll have to figure out what that raise thing means. It means like you get to do extra shit. So it's pretty good. Um, Yo, Ewok, the the tower's on fire tonight, man. All right. I'll try. <laughs> you got to roll it right. <laughs> I'll try it again. You're shooting the bartender, right? Okay. Yeah. In the face. In the, I got it. <laughs> okay. There's three. And there's seven. Pl- okay. So you hit him for eight. So you got three over his toughness, so he's going to be pretty hurt, too. Not as hurt as the dude Sam shot, but you shot with a bullet. You know, he's using a shotgun. It's a little different. Hell yeah. Uh, all right, so if the damage attack is... Okay. So basically, he, he's shaking. So, like, you've hit him, and he's shaking. He's, gonna, uh, he's not going to really be able to do much on his next turn. And if he's still... You know, and then you kind of roll to see if they kind of shake out of it the next turn. If he doesn't, then he, like, starts getting wounded and starts dying, so... All righty. Um, so now we're at the dude who's at the door. And um, we're just going to actually have him use this stats as well. Oh, this so, is the guy, the, the pocket watch, the who, who Ewok yeah. missed. Yeah. So the dude that Trevor, uh, that um, Tug. I like tug your nug. foot and then Tug. You're like caveman noises. That's good. All right. So uh, it's a sophisticated language. <laughs> That's incredibly offensive. What you just Tug said. Nug. <laughs> the uh, the the gun uh, the uh, the thief is going to turn around, and I'm going to just use the stats for the gambler right now um, for him because like kind of another shady character. So uh, he's not really concerned with continuing this fight. He wants to get the hell out of here. So oh, he's going to try. He does. Yeah, we're going to try. He's going to try and get out of the door here, and. Uh, gonna try and push the door open and run away so we're gonna he's god he only gets a d4 for that (laughs) oh he gets a three so he he tries to push the door open but he kind of he doesn't get it open all the way so it kind of it's this double door so it kind of slaps him a bit and he starts stumbling out the door that's funny so that's his turn that was great trevor it's your turn again wait Uh, can i say something before before another action then i i say whoa 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 everybody hold on uh before some of you die does anybody know of any like cool special missions or side quests that need to be done? That's a good thing to ask. Yeah. Okay. Now that's, that is a great question. Um, so <laughs> show of hands, who has a side mission? <laughs> so in who the has bar, side missions every, here. Everybody just kind of looks around and then one hand goes up and it's the old man who's like now dying from a shotgun blast. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to go get back my watch. Oh, oh God. Why? Oh God. What's important about this watch? My wife, my wife's daddy gave it to me. Okay. I made that okay. up. Okay, sure, sure. Right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's actually lore for the watch. It belongs to Buster Brannigan. We don't want to make him mad. Oh, Fuck Buster Brannigan. <laughs> why would it make it mad that that his... Why do you have Buster Brannigan's watch? He gave it to me for safekeeping. And, and uh, well, okay, I stole it. Now that guy stole it from me. And But you got to get it back for somebody. I don't know, man. I hate it when you guys do shit like this. Just fucking chase the guy. <laughs> okay. I said. I said we Can kill I... this Buster Brannigan guy. Yeah. Can I say something to everybody? Unfortunately, yes. yes. Okay. I go, everybody in the bar. I hate my gun. Um, although, I do believe that I have $216. That's what Sam said, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. So... I would like to buy a new gun from anyone. Can if, if anyone has a good gun, can you hold up what guns you have and tell me how much you'll sell it to me for? I have a six shooter. I have two of them. I'll I that's a better gun than the Derringer. Uh-huh. Um, and I'll sell it uh, to you for one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Is yeah. there anything better than a six shooter? 
Anyone in the bar? Say, uh, uh, the accuracy on my six shooter is unreal. Really? Yeah. I really like the shotgun that Sam had. I'm not asking yeah. for that, but I want to know if anyone else has a shotgun. I've got a gun you could use. How much? What is it? And the priest turns around. He's got a Colt Peacemaker, a huge ass six shooter. Holy shit! I'll buy that. If you can dodge a bullet from this, I'll sell it to you for fifty dollars. Nah, I just want to buy it. I'll give I'll give you a hundred dollars if I don't have to dodge it. <laughs> You're no fun. All right. Uh, Look, I'm a, I'm an Ewok. I'm shitty at everything. You, did you see me try to shoot that guy that walked out of here? I was right behind him and I missed. I don't trust anything about myself. That's why I need to get. I need to right. armor up fast. If you don't trust anything about yourself, why'd you be born an Ewok? Oh, that's really that's Ooh. some bigoted shit. Yeah. We are um, in the West. God every- protects me and my ways yeah, some, against the yeah. against small priest. Said the priest in the whites only bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I am the only non-white man in this white bar. <laughs> What's under your fur, though? Or, or we coming we from. don't know. Uh, look, now I'm not going to dodge, but I'll give you $216 for it, though. Let's let's do, give you a persuasion check, then. Let's see how we do. Wait, his six shooter is bigger than my six shooter. It's like a cult peacemaker. Those are like big. Um, at least I think it's bigger than yours. Let me see. I, let me look at just kind of the damage and stuff. Yeah. The, uh, you know, like in, uh, you know, like good, the bad, the ugly, like the big ones that like when the, you know, and you've got, uh, you've got, oh, no, you have cult peacemakers too, but his are like, are his, no, it is the same gun. I'm sorry. I thought he had one oh. of those huge ones. That's yeah. something. Then, dude, yeah, I'll buy yours for $100. Gun. I'll give you $100. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a better deal. Yeah, right. fuck this guy. So I give him a... Get... What? I give Darren $100 and I get his gun. And I'm like, rad. Okay, so now, Darren, you only... So your character's picture is like this, but now you now you gave a gun... You sold a gun. I did. And how much money do I have now? Well, how much did Trevor... How much did you $100. Have? He gave me 100 So add that to my bank. So now Trevor only has 116 I And 116. Darren's character, Wilford, has... Uh, Two fit two hundred fifty seven, and this is the old west, so that's a good amount of yeah. yeah. So I, and and then and then I shoot this uh this this watch stealing son of a bitch in the back again that who as he's All fumbling right. out. Yeah, yeah, and roll so, through the tower, roll through the tower. Oh, now roll through the tower. Right. Yeah, I still keep <laughs> motherfucker. I know, man, but I'm rolling a d six for you too, and it's just not doing anything. You don't you don't add them together like it, it just if one's the other. I mean, here's the other oh. thing, Trevor. You do have like. Uh, you know, your guy is magic. Again? Oh, wait. Did you not know this? I mean, that's all we talked about. Like, when we were talking about this during SSS, I said magic gambler. You're like, I want to be a magic gambler. Oh, I forgot you about think that. Magic just meant he worked at, like, a place called magic? It doesn't make any sense that a gambler the Orlando would be magic. magic. What is he, a magician? Oh, because the cards? I yeah, get it. It's like a, the, yeah, it's like uh, a whole... The, the, I mean, this, dude, you have the coolest character i would have totally been the magic gambler yeah i mean all you had to do do was like look at the stuff i sent you but i get it i get it but i mean so i shoot magic missile at the guy well not a magic missile anymore yeah there is a similar thing though it's a it's a bolt right yeah it's it's a very similar thing i conjure similar thing and i (laughs) just say just say i shot a bolt just pretend for a second i shot a bolt just one second pretend you'd like to play okay cool so you're gonna shoot a bolt at him all right so now we're gonna we're gonna figure out the magic, and it's not that tough. It's it's, it's very similar to what we're already doing. So, you know, but for Trevor's sake, we might want to just simplify magic missile. No, I can remember a bolt. No, 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 no. You can. You yeah, can? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, it's more fun with Trevor when you just kind of. It's like a steel trap. I you got try it. The, it's a bolt. It's definitely right. a trap. Uh, <laughs> Should we just move on? Like, cause I I guess I shot and I missed. Should we let like someone else go and I could try yeah, my bolt yeah. on the next one? Yeah, yeah, and then you can one? do, and then you can yeah. do it next time. Yeah, I've got it figured out though. I don't want to monopolize the turns. So it's a uh, Sam's turn next then. Uh, who is he shooting a bolt at? Sorry, he's about he hasn't. The yet. guy who's trying to leave. Watch. He stole the watch. Oh, I just figured it out too. So we'll just go next time, though. Oh, you and you'll definitely hit the guy, Trevor. There's no way you can't hit him. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. So, Sam, um, the watch thief is trying to get away. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot with my Colt Thunderer. 
and Whoa, shoot see, at that's, his head. That's like a big one, right? That sounds bigger. Anyways. Uh, How much you want for that gun? Colt Thunder. <laughs> How much do you have? $116. Um, maybe 200 mm, Whoa. Okay. All right. Uh, who are you shooting at, Sam? Uh, the person leaving. Oh, you're shooting at the thief now. Yeah. All right, cool. I got you. Okay. All right, so you hit him. So uh, now this guy's, uh, we're just calling him an extra. So you've, uh, it's funny, that's kind of like almost worse than NPC. They call them extras. Like they're just <laughs> fucking there. They don't get paid very well. They get promised that, like they don't get to eat He's crap saying, till the like, end. It's like a town Waffles, bananas, waffles, bananas, or whatever. <laughs> watermelon, watermelon. <laughs> Anyway, yes, does. yeah, that water bill, the water bill. <laughs> Anyways, so he, that makes him make a passage. So he he goes ah oh, and like falls. He he gets one right in the side, like kind of right in his back, and he falls down, kind of slumped against the wall, and kind of rolls out into the street a little bit. And he um, dies. Was this what you were no, trying to do, Tiny right Bear? Now. What? <laughs> Was this what you were trying to do, Tiny Bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's uh, Wilford's turn again. Uh oh, uh, that's me. Um, Milford. Milford. Oh, Milford. Uh, yeah. Wilford's the actual person. Yeah. I hop over the bar and I grab the bartender and I uh, shove his mouth on the daiquiri frozen daiquiri machine and I just like flip it on. <laughs> Wait, there's a machine now. Yeah, it's a frozen daiquiri. Yeah, yeah. you ordered yeah. a frozen daiquiri. Yeah, you, we've already. I thought you know he was how, going like, sometimes... in the back and like chipping away at ice, like just going. How do you make daiquiris? Nah. That's how you, you make the flush. Machine. It's the machine is what how, what it does for the daiquiri. <laughs> All right. It's a steampunk frozen daiquiri machine. There you go. So, all right, you you easily hop over the table or hop over the bar, and then uh, let's do a strength. Check. I do it like really sexily, like it's just like yeah, my like hair is like, like whipping around, and yeah. I have like this cape that's kind of like. And doing you got this your shit. like your shirt's kind of like it's a button shirt, and like a, one another button comes undone, so like a little more cleave mm. shows as you like jump over, and your hair is like flying back like this. Yeah. And, and I'm a red I'm a redhead, and I have like four freckles like on the like upper part of this breast and i have one mole on the upper part of Jeez. this breast oh yeah. that is... can we do a check to see how how successful she is at having it be sexy yeah yeah totally uh see so how that sexy be, uh, it is we're gonna count this as a taunt there we go all right <laughs> i rolled an eight-sided dice where you got a two so like one of your boobs thing. just kind of flops out and like it's, it's kind of throwing you off a little bit. Her boob, boob flops actually yeah. flops out. She's got an exposed breast. I don't know. What do was... you, okay, if you're trying to be sexy and you fail, like what is that? How should you like her clothes you... button back well, up? Well, the sexiness just multiplied like yeah. tremendously. I don't know. Sometimes I... sometimes it's sexier to have like the, the mystery than to just flop out. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, you're right. Okay. So as you're jumping over the bar, like you, one of your shirt flaps just kind of buttons up again and like uh, a piece of your hair falls out. <laughs> What? All right. Shit. I don't know what's. The, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's funny. That's okay. good. Yeah. They say like it your, your shirt sloppily. opens and it turns out you're wearing a Marvin the Martian T-shirt underneath. <laughs> I don't want to. Do it's it not anything. sexy. It's just like it's a monster energy but drink I still, shirt. <laughs> you still make it over. Yeah, I, I still put his mouth on the deck. Yeah. So well, and I'm about to get to that him, too. Slush. I'm about to do that right now because you got over. You grab him. Now we're gonna do an agility check, or you got, got over the bar. You weren't as sexy as you wanted to be. That's okay. And then and this margarita are... machine is operated by like a gopher running in a wheel, so that it's like it works with the time. <laughs> it's like the ones they had in the Flintstones. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say. And then the gopher looks at the camera, and goes, "This is crazy." <laughs> Every damn day. Y'all making bar. me more scared than a Ewok with a derringer trying to hit a pickpocket. Bump 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 bump. Cowboys. It's the Cowboys. <laughs> okay, so uh, you grab the guy, and now let's uh, 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 slamming him onto the margarita machine. 
His mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So you got his mouth on the margarita machine pretty good. And you're saying daiquiri, daiquiri machine. Daiquiri. I, well, he said margarita. Now I'm thinking margarita. Daiquiri? Yeah. Yeah. This okay. Is daiquiri machine. All right. And so uh, what are you going to do now? You got his mouth on it. I guess we oh, should go I've, to the I've, next turn. I've, I turned the switch on and it just right. like starts filling so him full of the daiquiri so you, slush. You, you, spin until he the, dies. you spin the hamster wheel harder. <laughs> and he sure. starts inflating. <laughs> the hamster, yeah, we're gonna see how how hard we uh, spin the hamster wheel. All right, uh, what should I do for that? There's not a spin a hamster wheel on a daiquiri machine dice. Um, we'll just do this one. Yeah, we'll do that one again. Okay. All right, so the wheel starts turning a little bit. You got a three out of eight, so it's like you start turning it, and it, we're we're gonna uh, pump this guy. We could probably at least get him a, a headache, right? Was well, he like? Is, is he inflating and like kind of floating towards the ceiling? Just hold on. Let me just. I don't, yeah, I think I just gave him an ice cream headache. Well, you, uh, you actually are wounding him through this. So like, yeah, he starts getting like, like his cheeks start filling up a little bit, and he's perspiring, and he goes, oh, like starts grabbing his head. <laughs> but it, does that hurt him in in health at all? Yeah, he's wounded. That's what I'm saying. Like, so he, okay. you got him enough where he's wounded. He's like, oh but you're wounding him with a margarita machine so he's not bleeding he's just like his face yeah. is full of daiquiri and uh <laughs> yeah he's got an ice cream headache all right so now we're gonna go to the <laughs> this is so silly um we're at the uh dude who's well he's incapacitated so i think i have to roll to see if he starts bleeding out he's incapacitated so he has to make a vigor roll v-i-g-o-r and uh these guys i'm making the same class as trevor right now so he gets a d6 so he has to beat a four. Oh, he did. Okay, so he's not bleeding out. Actually, what you do is when someone's like, because he's knocked out basically. So he's he's not bleeding out, but he's just still laying there. He's breathing though. You notice that he's breathing. So right. All right. Um, so we got that guy incapacitated. Darren's still trying to murder the bartender. Uh, the old man. Oh shit! The old man rolled a one. So the old man starts bleeding out. Good. And uh, so now at the next turn, if he's still, uh, he might die. So. Good. That's why we <laughs> shot him. Fucking finally. Because we thought it would be funny. Yeah. But you know what? That's kind of, the way they do this is interesting because like real Old West gunfights, like it wasn't like I shot the guy and he died. Like a lot of times the history is like I shot the guy and then seven hours later he died. Yeah, because their guns like, sucked. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's how Lincoln got bullets, assassinated. Yeah, because their bullets were circles instead of points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. Well, and they didn't come out as hard, you know? It's yeah. not like when you blast someone with like, you know, a nine millimeter or whatever, like in a modern action movie, that's yeah. one thing. But these are like powder explosions, <laughs> you know? Hey, how should we design these bullets we're going to shoot out of these guns? Oh, uh, just make it so there's no, uh, there's no forward position. Right. Hey, you know how we, uh, you know how for like hundreds of years we've been using like pointy metal objects or like points on arrows that we shoot. What yeah. should we do for the new kind of weapon? Let's make them round. Just make them a tumbly ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, it was a gun was really just an advanced slingshot. That's true. Yeah. Curse you. Hey, did you hear they made a new logic. kind of slingshot called a gun? <laughs> and then the cannons they were just like let's make bigger versions of this and shoot big balls at people yeah. is it gonna, what if it yeah. hits a person well it's more just going to hit the ground and kind of make stuff go everywhere and hurt people's legs yeah. so uh, where are we at? At? uh i don't know um are we still well, well i guess that's the really bad news if you don't know <laughs> <laughs> we're on it. Uh, wait, so we're still fighting right so uh yeah well, because uh, the one dude's knocked out but all right, so the uh, here we go. Let's get this guy involved. All right, is Mom it my go? Do I go? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do something here. Uh, we're, we're gonna do another, uh, I'm gonna draw the cards again. Let's All see right. how that works. Let's just do it. Okay, so but the uh, the priest turns around and faces everybody again. So we're gonna give the priest and the bartender turns as well. So all right, we're gonna draw everybody's cards here real quick. All right, so we're gonna draw for the reverend. Oh, we got a six. Uh, Oh, this is for the uh, fuck. I didn't know who I was drawing for. So that's me. I'm the Joker now. Um, I was gonna draw for the Reverend. Who else was I gonna give a turn to? You know the. So these other guys bartender? are having the bar. This is the bartender. Okay, uh, so the bartender's gonna go. Uh, we're gonna make him go third. What now, Trevor? Nothing. Okay. 
Here's Trevor. Trevor's an ace, so you go first. Uh, Darren, also an ace. And I don't know, does Heart beat... Uh, they have it go... Let's see, Heart's diamonds and clubs. Oh, Heart beats clubs. So Darren's actually going to go first, unless Sam gets an ace of spades. Woohoo! I guess I didn't shuffle this very well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, well. That's what happened. Oh, it went Joker, Joker, Ace, Ace, Ace. No, it was only one Joker. It was six Joker, Ace, six. Ace, Ace, Ace. Yeah, ace, ace. but you're right. I mean, you're not, uh, not right. <laughs> so we learned that Timmy doesn't know how to shuffle a deck of cards. <laughs> no, well, you should try playing Magic with me and Margaret. We're both like, I can't try it. Like, we have to retry so many times before we get a playable starting hand. Anyways, uh, okay, so, uh, so Sam, you're first then. Um, I take my the gun that I uh my shotgun. I'll take my shotgun this uh-huh. time. Is it reloaded? Yeah, so I was gonna. Yeah, ask. I don't know how you work all that, but basically they have a rate of fire of one, which means once per turn you get you know. But I don't think but just okay. for just for expedience, why don't we just say that it, it, the things reload? Yeah, I don't think you have to reload. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Okay, that. just making sure. Uh, I take it and I shoot the priest in the face. Oh shit! He hasn't even done anything yet. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I've, I've been. i just shit? realizing now. There's a priest. That's this guy. Yeah, I'm mad at God. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who, who was trying Star to sell Cruiser a gun but Creech? failed. Yeah. He Dude. has a problem with God. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like there's got to be, I feel like there's something I'm missing here because it should be easier for you to hit them, but you did not, right now you did not hit him, but you can use a Benny to re-roll if you want to. Yeah, I'm going to use my Benny. You're going to use, use that Benny. Benny. All right, yeah. here we go. There you go. All right. There you go. Hell so you yeah. He hit, hit the priest. Uh, and I oh say, man. Hail Mary full of lead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a solid, solid line. All right, chill. Sing- it's a single barrel shotgun. Okay, so. And... Oh my God. Okay, you might have fucking killed this guy already. Six nice. Damage. Oh, what dude. is his toughness? His toughness nice. is five. I, I have gone on a rampage. Yeah. <laughs> really did. Dude, this quiche guy is sick. Yeah. Quiche guy. <laughs> Creesh. Creech. Oh, Creech. Yeah. Star Cruiser Creech. Okay. So he takes two wounds. He can take three because he's like a little more badass like you guys are. So he he takes three. So he he can still do stuff, but now he's like messed up. So uh <laughs> all right, then it's Darren's turn. Um uh, Milford. Yeah, I stick my uh six shooter in the bartender's mouth. And I say, uh, uh, open up the register and I'll let you live. All right. Here we go. So, uh, let's see. you know, I find it weird that they drew a sexy lady picture, but her like uh, intimidation and persuasion isn't that great. It's like, oh, a shit. sexy lady. I'm going to use all my bennies in this round. <laughs> well, you've met like, you've, you've met like a sexy girl who can't tell a fucking story, right? That's true. You know, if he just starts naming all this bullshit or like around it, like, and you're like, you know, that's what she is. She's just like, yeah. She's but telling you, know, you all the other people who were there at the story right. that aren't in the story. Yeah. But like, like we're all sexy and can tell stories, but we, you know, yeah. we got to understand some people can't, you know, yeah, some people con- are only one. We're concise. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call myself concise, but I feel like I could tell a story. It just takes a long time. Anyways, because... Uh, so I'm trying, yeah, I mean, okay, so I just rolled your intimidation and it didn't work, but so you can use a Benny. Oh, wait, we can still do that other thing. Hold on, sorry. I forget that you guys get an extra dice. Well, that didn't work either. So he's still not intimidated, um, which is fu- funny because he's got the thing in his mouth. That's one of those modifier things like I work on where it's like, well, obviously. Whatever. You know what though? Let's Ooh. put ourselves in this mindset. So he's a tough bartender in this fucking crazy magic cowboy murder yeah. town, right? Like he's probably been in this situation before, right? What if he's like, do it, just put me out of my misery? <laughs> I you dare you to, woman. That's what he says. I dare you to. You ain't gonna do it. <laughs> he's so, like, I'm begging for it. Is my- you're saving me. The, you're saving me the trouble. 
<laughs> you want to fill my mouth with daiquiris and then blow my brains out? <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> So can I, it, do I get an day. action or, or is that yeah, my, I mean, my can, actions? I, over? I would say the talking is like, you know, kind of a free action thing. And then you can do another thing. And also there's movement and we haven't really, you know, we're, we've never been good at remembering movement, but anyway, so you can do that too. But you know, you can, you do have an action right now. Yeah. All right. And I blow his brains out. Oh man, that's a fucking hardcore. Well, he said the guy challenged him. You can't uh, no, look yeah, weak in I, front I, of I, all of skank gulch. I get it, man. Yeah. You don't want you don't want people in skank gulfs thinking you're a coward. If I roll a two or something and you're uh, like, you kind of blow his brains him. out, but he's he's all right. <laughs> a, a little you're, piece you're of his brain comes out. Um, a little piece of brain. No, I'm joking. Like if <laughs> okay. you say you blow somebody's brains out, but you roll like a one. Well, that's the thing. Like, Here's the thing, though. Here's the difference between how we play and how everyone else plays is when. You, in normal role playing games, when you say I'm gonna do something, you don't talk about the result, and we always talk about the results. You guys always say the result you hope you get, yeah. especially you do. And I'm not saying that's bad, Darren, but you always kind of talk about what you want to happen. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, in role playing games, it's like I'm gonna swing my sword, and then the DM decides with the dice and their well, own control of the game. Well, what we do is we talk about is. our dreams and goals. What? That's what we talk about our dreams and goals. Yeah, no, no, I'm just and that's why you know. we're more aspirational. Fine than no, other D, D things yeah yeah i get it we uh you know we we're, we're, we visualize yeah no and it's because of who we are and it's all good but i'm just so, letting you know that like yeah. one reason it doesn't always work out is because that's like yeah. literally not kind of how it works but like we make it work you know we do it's it. also one of the things that makes it take a little longer to figure out is because like you say the result and timmy's got to figure out how to get there and what the the factors of making that happen thank are. you for putting into words what all my eh! over the last year couldn't same thank you but that is one reason why this is hard but uh but it's um, also it's a, why we have lightning in a bottle here because when you get five guys like us together or four in this case creativity is our palette right that's true that's the um, easiest thing i've ever heard trevor say yeah <laughs> I was gonna add on uh, when when I do blow his brains out and blood flies all over the walls. Some I just of want to point out that clearly Darren wasn't listening before. Okay, go ahead. Some of it's strawberry daiquiri and some of it's blood. You <laughs> if can't it tell happens. The yeah. See, here's the other thing: is that supposed to be my job to say that funny shit? Uh, all right. So he's got uh, he's already wounded, and so this is not gonna go well for him. So. Uh, I'm gonna. I mean, clear. He, let me just figure this out here. So you you hurt him really really bad. So so he's all right. So yeah, he's gonna. He's fucking dead. What is his? Uh, I do want to roll it because I think it'd be fun to at least make it seem like it's. You know, there's a. And I just keep. I just keep nodding like this. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. Well, so I, I, I try to give him a chance and his vigor roll did not do it. So yeah. So you take the gun and you blast it and like pink, pink ice and pink brain and all sorts of other shit fly against the wall and the bartender falls over dead. So congratulations team. We we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Murdering everybody. <laughs> Now, aren't okay. you I at least mentioned the thing I mentioned earlier about, you know, <laughs> so the white bartender. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Anyways, um, so he's dead. Uh, yeah, I, hate, I hate these whites oh, yeah. only bars. <laughs> You're telling me I'm a fucking Ewok. There you, go. you guys are like crusaders against Old West racism. Yes, that's right? what we are. Yeah, that's now we can right. do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. When you say that you're with the good guys, I can do whatever you want. Okay, um, it is uh, Trevor's turn. Uh, I take whoever's the closest to me, like whoever's sitting at a table, and I bite them right in the face. Like, you know, <laughs> like a fucking apple. Like, I just yeah. bite right into their face. That's great. Okay, so... Uh, and they're just white. Just a bystander? They're white. Just a, a normal we bystander? We know that. Yeah, I, no. I, bite, I bite a white woman in the face. <laughs> it's a woman. I don't know. Can we, are women allowed in this bar? Is this a guys only bar? Well, Darren I'm was playing it. piano. Darren, All right, Milford. Right. So, yeah. okay. So, Milford. the Epoch grabs a dancing girl and bites her. 
bites her on the face. Yeah, the ladies can work there in an entertainment capacity. But uh, so he, uh, which is also a horrible thing to say, but that's okay. So uh, the, uh, what are you again? A huckster. Okay, so you're fighting. Oh yeah, your fighting is not good, but that's okay. We'll see here. So we got two. I don't really do it. Oh, you, you gotta watch that. Spells. Huh? You're biting a guy's nose instead. You forgot to do a spell, but you're biting a guy's face instead. I'm biting a dude's face off. All right. So, <laughs> so I gotta I gotta pick out because Ewoks have those sharp pointy teeth. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So you you bite it. You I do want to bite a dance girl just like a like someone sitting at the table. Just just a, a dude. Table. I don't want to be sexist. I'm gonna bite yeah, a white right. okay. a white so, man. I'm gonna see, bite. Now, a, now, a, this a, is a, now, I bite a that... straight white man. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so there was a that was a Patreon moment when we like sometimes He's we do rewind. So this is a rewind. So yeah, so you grab you grab a guy sitting up, just some some fucking cowboy sitting at a table, and you yeah. bite his nose. Yeah, and uh, some privileged piece of shit, I bite him right in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, He's hanging out in Skank Gulch. Yeah, so privileged. <laughs> Hang yeah, you can, you can tell he's up to no good. You can yeah, tell he's skank-gulch. he's looking for the young skanks. Oh, you this fucking it. Yale rowing sweater on. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So uh you uh yeah, you you take this guy and he he uh, immediately passes out from the pain and it's like uh, he as he's falling down he's like just like that fucked up scene from Batman returns and then he falls over. So Wait, this um, guy's outside of time. Yeah, you're referencing Star Wars. Not that's my home planet. That's where I come from. <laughs> Star you Wars. You know is it's my... called Star Wars, though. Yes. <laughs> well, so okay, that's, that's the, the whole you... thing. It's like they're having these Star Wars. They all know it's called the Star Wars. Like I've never well, heard anyone in Star Wars say Star Wars. They say yeah. it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who is? Well, the who, priest is, is standing it? at the bar, and he's he's hurt, right? Because uh, who just shot? Somebody shot him, right? Sam, you shot him. I shot him. him. Shot yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, He's wounded, but he just he 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 points his hands towards himself and starts and and uh, warm white light starts pouring out of his hands at his own body as he starts trying to heal himself. Oh, and, uh, fuck! So he's, he's successfully healing himself. And uh, okay, so he he rolled well enough to heal uh, one of his wounds. Sam wounded him twice with that attack, so he's he's a little less wounded now, and he starts. Uh, well, that's kind of his action. So he starts moving towards Sam. So here's Trevor's character, six of spades again. Uh, mm. Darren is a three of hearts. Sam, five. And at least it's a little more shuffled. And the priest gets a jack, so he's first. Uh-oh. Uh, all right. So uh, so the priest, this is, gonna, this is great. This is what I want to happen. This is fun. Okay, so the uh, priest goes up to Sam's character. Sam, your character is named what? Uh, uh, Star Cruiser Creech. And he takes out like a huge wooden stick with a bunch of holy symbols carved into it. And he swings it at you. Okay, he got a four. And But what is your parry? Because you can probably dodge that. Oh, yeah, he, he doesn't hit Sam. I'll figure that out. See, there's still the combat's a little weird, but it'll be cool once I get it goes. Anyways, he swings at you and misses Sam. So now it's uh, um, Trevor's turn. I run. I run to go check the watch. Okay. Like, and then uh, yeah, I, I get the watch. Okay. Let me do a quick agility check to make sure you can get that watch. Okay. And like get out the door and grab. Can it. I shoot okay. my my uh, my bolts after I get? So his you watch? can do a move and yeah, uh, scooping some up like that. That'll just be a free action, right? Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to get so much smoother. This is going to be crazy. Anyway, so yeah, now you can do a bolt. What do you want to do? I do a perception check. Okay. Is there any old kegs of gunpowder in the saloon? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, that, that'd be a notice. That's what it's called for this. Notice. I notice, I notice for mm. gunpowder. A scour. Uh, you don't see anything. But you can okay. still shoot a bolt. Then I shoot a bolt at the wall of liquor. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so you definitely hit the wall. Uh, and we're going to do a whole bunch of damage to it. So you, uh, so the wall behind uh, the bar explodes in fire 
after the bolt hits it and a bunch of the bottles shatter and there's flaming liquor shoots onto the floor and out of the bar and uh yeah and i pull the guy's watch out Uh uh-huh okay yeah (laughs) i got his watch Okay, I don't know if you're gonna say anything or do something. No, like- I got, I, I got, got your watch, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> well, do we even know he's in there, though. I mean- no, he's outside on the ground. I, I, I oh said yeah, I, I said to him, said well, I could a- do my movement, then I do a snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it from the pickpocket guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I yeah. thought you were talking to the guy who owned the watch. Okay. No. Like what the old man said. Okay, uh, Sam, it's your turn. The bar's on. Okay. Unplugged. Oh. Oh, the bar's on fire. I'm fucking behind the bar. It's like raining goddamn fire. I go, sorry. Well, I'm just going to shoot sh- shoot the, the priest again. Oh, with yeah, my, with my okay. With my uh, what, what, my six shooter or whatever it is. You're the territorial range. Oh, with the uh, with your gun, the Colt Thunderer? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so you, you just wound him again. So uh, <clears throat> you didn't hit him too hard. You wound him again, though. Um, so he's, so kinda, he's back to two two wounds. Yeah, he's two wounds, so he's still pretty fucked up. Uh, all right, uh, yeah. Darren, it's your turn. Um, uh, I the I take the nozzle from the sprink, like sprinkle the from the faucet. You know, there's like the little side one, and I I spray down the bar because it's on fire. So I put out the fire. <laughs> what? With the spray? With the the sink spray? Like the soap? Yeah, gun? yeah. You it has like, like the... a little. Because there's plumbing? Oh, the, oh, the soda bar? gun. Yeah, because yeah, like there's soda? <laughs> to, like, help wash the dishes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm putting the fire to up. Help wa- okay. Does that work? I think what we're learning here is some of us would die in the Old West. I mean, we would all die <laughs> in the Old West. We'd, we'd be fucked. All right. So anyways, uh, there's not a dishwashing trait. Um, hmm. Let me see what I can find. But to be fair, there is an Ewok here. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get a little bit of leniency. All right. Yeah. No, no, yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at all. <laughs> ability to wash the dishes in this game. I'm just figuring out which one to roll for. So we'll just do uh, your spirit. <laughs> all right. So you do a great, you do, you, you sprinkle some of the, you definitely get, you get some water, put out some of the fire that's on the bar. There's still bottles behind you that are starting on fire. And there's still fire falling onto the floor. Yeah, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about those. All right. So, um, you, are you doing a motion now? Are you gonna move or something now? Or yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna uh, grab a glass and fill up the daiquiri and slide it all the way down the bar to like land right in Master Creech's hand. Oh, or, Star or, like, Cruiser Creech. Star Cruiser. Master Creech. <laughs> <Master Kreesh. laughs> <laughs> right. So now we'll do another round, Trevor. Ace of Diamonds. Uh, well, does he? Does <laughs> Chris say anything? Does Chris was... say anything? I serve him as daiquiri. I, I, I say, shuffled it back, Trevor. Thanks, kid. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa. Well, he calls her kid. Oh, because you're older. Because you look like John Goodman. Okay. Uh, Sam's a ten of diamonds. Uh oh. And the Cowboys a three of clubs. All right. So. All righty. So, uh, Trevor, it's your turn again, buddy. The priest. The priest. What did I say? The bartender. The the cowboy. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, the priest. I uh, tuck the 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 watch into my like pouch, my like marsupial kind of pouch, my Ewok like. Oh, like, my, do Ewoks have pouches? <laughs> I don't. Know. I thought they have like leather yeah. pouches. Okay. Okay. So yeah, like I, I put in my pouch like a and satchel. Then, yeah. yeah, I put in a satchel, a leather satchel. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, I want to go back into this. For a second, so you've been a Star Wars nerd as big. You and I are both big Star Wars nerds, right? We love Star Wars. I love the lives. movies. So all of them. Always, have you always the- thought? Yeah, yeah. We know which ones you don't like. Shut yeah. up. We don't need that conversation. What I'm asking is, <laughs> what, so you this whole time thought Ewoks were marsupial? No, I didn't. I, I don't think about it. It's just kind of stream of consciousness. I'm like, oh, he just puts it in his pouch. Because um, so what you're thinking is, you know, little furry creature probably has. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think about all the the stats on these guys. I'm just like you know, Ewoks. You know, I, yeah. I was wondering since I know that you're someone who's thought about Star Wars a lot. Maybe you yeah. thought about that in the past. And maybe maybe you're living your whole life thinking Ewoks are marsupial, and no. I just am finding out now after 20 years of friendship. I think we're never saying he's watched Star Wars a lot. He hasn't thought about <laughs> Star Wars a lot. Yeah. 
<laughs> but <laughs> like just... I don't know any of the spaceship names or anything besides yeah. like Millennium Falcon or stuff like that. His um, mind is Death a gray Star. space. When what about the ones he's not like... sitting around going? I know, how does how does Darth Vader take his pants off at the end of the night? <laughs> oh, I hate those people. No, so that's terrible. Don't so my them. Ewok. My yeah. my Ewok rustles a horse. I just jump up on the back of a horse. And I think I, there is. I think we I can steal roll it, and then I house. ride off into the sunset. I go yeah, and I like I'm I'm just getting out of Skankville. So that's what you're gonna do. Now here's yeah. the thing: there is a riding stat. Right. God does not have a good die roll for it. So let's see what happens. And oh, he's man. indoors. <laughs> So no, he's outside. no, I'm outside because I got to watch and I got to get oh, out of yeah, here yeah. Oh, because yeah. uh, w- uh, w- uh, Milfred Bremley and uh, and Starfruit Queef will come after me. Starfruit Queef? <laughs> what is it? Star Starship? Yeah. You know what? Star you Cruiser a- Creesh. Star Cruiser Creesh. I'm okay with bending the world enough to be an Ewok in the Old West, but I'm not okay with bending the world enough to have a rude Ewok. Right? <laughs> I'm not- yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's the yeah. first episode. Names are tricky. Yeah, whatever, numbnut. See, that's not yeah. my name. That's not my name. <laughs> and he's riding off into the sunset. Good riddance. Okay, by the way, I got you a six. So you got on the horse and you're taking off on the horse. Yeah. What color is your horse? Uh, It's like calico. Better, better be white. <laughs> No, I'm not. I, I I just I just burnt up that that whites only bar. That's right, Vic. I'm a I'm a I'm a Ewok out on a. You're a freedom fighter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, um, uh, congratulations. Now it's Darren's turn. Uh oh, I grab the keys off of the bartender and I mm-hmm. open the register and I take all the money out and I add it to my bank account. Okay, so uh, this is the Old West, so there's uh, $13 in there. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that's not a lot. I mean, you know, that's probably... Slow and steady. I think so you somebody for $13. i am at, I'm at like, what, 270 something Yeah, 270 Darren, the numbers guy, you're right on it, man. Good 270 job. bucks. Fuck mm-hmm. yes. Um, all right, do you want to use a move or something? Or are you going to... Because the bar is still, you know, there's fire behind you. Uh, well, I don't know. Should I let Lugnut go off into the sunset? Well, I mean, uh, Mr. I'll just say we can, there's that we don't, this is not the end of this story, you know, so we'll keep going. Well, he, he's riding off into the sun, <laughs> literally, what the end of a story would be, but there's still stuff so. there. So his story is going to go on a different adventure. Do I want to try to call him, steer him back, or should I uh, just let him go? What? I, I guess mean, we could catch up to him. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. At the speed um, he's going, he's got two days lead on you. No, <laughs> but he is little. <laughs> Um, uh, I just collect the cash. Is the preacher guy dead now? He's a, uh, well, he's no, he's not dead. He's still, he's All still right. wounded and stuff. Though. I'm going to help out my buddy and I'm going to finish him off with the six, okay. six what shooter. Are you gonna You're gonna uh, shoot? Just, yeah. Shoot him right through his beach hat. All right. Right through his beach hat. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I think it's a gardening hat. You just killed Barb or star. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hell, hell of a reference. <laughs> All right. Ooh, you got a critical failure on that one. That's exciting. Oh, but you get to try the wild die. So the wild die is what you, is the other one that you get to reroll when you're cool. Okay, that was not a critical failure. So it's not that was not a failure. So it's not a critical failure. So that's just you then. All right, Sam, it's your turn. Um, am I close to the priest? Yeah, he just tried to hit you with a stick. Everybody's kind of in this little bar. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and stab him with my Bowie knife. Yeah. In the, the under throat. Like here? Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. So this is this is different. We haven't done a, one of these yet. Okay. Oh, that's damage. Okay. So. How old is uh, um, Star, Star Cruiser? Star Cruiser? Star, yeah, Star Cruiser. He's like 63. Mm. But every time you ask him, he just goes old enough and he winks and it's super <laughs> creepy. And like, like, you're like, oh, God. 
right. so like when he's mounting like the the preacher guy he you know it's his bones ache he's kind of like Wait, Wait, he's mount a bigger it? guy yeah is he gonna stab him well he's gonna stab him why does he have no, to yeah mount? but he's hopping i'm stabbing in front of him i'm just going Dude. oh you're just oh okay all right what'd you, what do you what do you think i'm doing you gonna mount him <laughs> yeah i thought for some reason you're gonna mount him and like, like you, I, I i i think what's happened is there's like uh, how are you how are you gonna inhale his last breath <laughs> <laughs> I think what's happened is that that since we're playing D and D, you assume that when someone stabs someone, they're uh, a hobbit who jumps on their back and <laughs> stabs them. Well, yeah, that's because I know hyphen <laughs> potamus so well. Yeah. <laughs> Did they take more than that? There. Okay, no, he's not dead, but he's incapacitated now. So he's like, so you stab the priest, and he start he falls over, starts kind of bleeding out. So do I? Have, do I have a movement? Yeah, you can move. Yep. Uh, I run out the bar. All right. Meanwhile, the priest. Has all the people run out of the bar because it's on fire? Yeah, there's people. Yeah, you know, I should do a little more storytelling there. Yeah, so as the bar's on fire and there's all this fight breaking out, there's people running out. There's people trying to, you know, grab all their stuff and get out of the bar. So it's, it's pretty crazy in there. And Sam's running out with them. Trevor's already gone. And uh, you're still behind the bar, right? So, or you're kind of coming around the end of the bar because you were trying to help fight the other guy. So, yes. Anyway, so the priest is now bleeding out. The uh, old man is dead. And who else is bleeding out? Oh, the dude with the nose. So, oh, he's all, they're all three bleeding out now. So they're probably on the way out. So, Darren, it's your turn. Yeah. I run out of the bar um, with Star Cruiser. Okay. And, um, and I hop on a horse and I say, we're not going to let that Ewok get away with a, our watch. Are you? Are we? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Let's fucking get him. Yeah. All right. So you guys yeah. get on some horses and take off after, after tug mud. Can I pitch out a potential cliffhanger? Well, I've had, I got one too, but you go ahead. I'll pitch mine out. You tell me if, if mine's better than yours. Okay. Okay. So, like, well, uh, my Ewok is riding. He can see the smoke coming up from the horses behind him, and he knows he's got maybe a two-hour lead on these guys. And he's going through the, the – uh, he goes through the desert, and uh, <clears throat> he stops by, behind – he, like, hides his horse behind a cactus, and, uh, and he's, like, digging into the ground because he's going to burrow underground. And then all of a sudden he sees like a little lizard and a little lizard comes up to him and like it's in the desert. The lizard comes up and stands up on its hind two legs and he looks at the lizard and he can see the faint, the faint glimmer of a, of like gold on the, on the, on the lizard. And he looks closer and he realizes it's a sheriff's star and the lizard goes, is it Rango? Yeah. The lizard goes, <laughs> looks like you need some help. Name's Rango. And then it goes to be continued. Three horses are galloping away. One is just a little bit ahead of the other two, like 30 seconds. And uh, the, uh, <laughs> the door next to the, the building next to the bar opens and a uh, leather boot steps out. A guy, I mean, you just well, imagine just a camera on the foot steps out. It goes up and there's, there's a marshal. And uh, what is his name? His name is really good. It's like very silly and cowboy. Oh, Buster Brannigan steps out and he oh. sees like he sees the horses. He goes, they've got my watch. So you guys, he's going to. Done, done, done. 